How about this? Next Wednesday, a snowboarder from Bell Fountain, Ohio, goes for the gold at the Winter Olympics. Louis Vito's daring deeds in the half pipe make him a fan favorite. And tonight only on two, Sonu Wasu live with Vito's deep local ties and how our region in many ways helped him get to Vancouver. Sonu. Well, Mark, the 21-year-old Logan County native is considered one of the best snowboarders in the world. He's been featured in movies, magazines, and TV shows. Here's a look at Louis Vito in action. Here we go. Louis Vito. He has made his mark on the snowboarding world with double corks and backside fives. Needs to pull it off here, backside five. Logan County's very own Louis Vito soared into the national spotlight with these moves and smooth landings. In late December, I sat down with the laid-back snowboarder for an exclusive interview at Mad River Mountain. It's going to be pretty crazy for someone from Ohio to make it for the Olympics for snowboarding. Vito makes it look so easy. He started snowboarding when he was five. Having the Mad River Mountain ski resort right in his backyard made it easy. One day my dad and I saw snowboarding and I'm like, oh, that looks pretty cool. Let's try it out. The hobby he shared with his dad turned into a passion. I love doing it. I love waking up every day and going riding. I wasn't tired or burnt out of it at all. And now, yeah, and he's got a double cork. it is a career. My dad always told me, you know, if you're good enough, they can't ignore you. So, I mean, it doesn't matter what's going on as long as you keep pushing and you know, you're good enough, you're, you're going to get noticed. So it doesn't really matter. I think he was like trying to pull it in. There have been some shaky moments on the board. It's just amazing how I do two tens and a 12 and a straighter is my hardest trick. <laughs> Go figure on that. But it's the can-do attitude. I can really do anything I want in snowboarding. It's just, you know, how hard I want to work towards it and how bad I want it. Because if you want something bad enough, you're going to find a way to make it happen. That's made him an Olympics superstar. Vito admits it can be a rough ride for your body. Yeah, I snapped my femur, broke and displaced that, had a rod and four screws. I broke my wrist and rode with it with no cast for a while. And then with a cast all winter and kept re-breaking it. So I had to get a bone graft from my hip, screwed into my wrist. Chipped a bone in my ankle, but I didn't know I did that until last year. I sliced my head open, sliced my eye open. Just a little stuff like that, too. You got to live life as you want right now. I mean, who knows how I'm going to feel when I get older, but it's worth it for right now. Vito says no matter what height he soars to, his roots will always be with the people of Logan County and his favorite mountain, the one that was once in his backyard. I got to show love to the kids, you know, who are riding here, which because I was one of those kids, you know, coming up. Louie is a member of your 2010 Olympic snowboard team, and that is why. Now, Vito has one more mountain to climb. His Olympic teammate and friend, Sean White, is a heavy favorite to win the gold during the half-pipe event, and so we'll see if Louie can pull off this upset. Mark. Yeah, so new uh, Louis's schedule is so demanding between training and travel and competitions. How did he manage to finish school in the middle of all this? Well, Mark, I learned that uh, Vito went to a very professional school for skiers and snowboarders. It's called the Stratton Mountain School in Vermont. He told me they snowboarded and skied all morning, and they went to class in the afternoon. Sounds like a lot of fun to me. Man, can I transfer? Is it too late? All right, so new thank you. Vito still has a week to get ready. The men's half-pipe qualifying semifinals and finals set for February 17th. You will see coverage on 2 News and NBC, both on air and on the web that day. And we are just one day away from the opening ceremonies. You can catch all the pomp and circumstance right here on WDTN beginning tomorrow night at 730. And our Olympic coverage will continue this 